Hello, my name is Trevor Hayworth. Uh, I'm going to introduce a new tool in our range to you today, the YCP240C hydraulic swaging tool. Uh, this is a tool here. Okay, it's a fairly compact tool considering it's 12 tonnes pressure on the head. And uh, this tool's been designed to swage cables from 4mm up to 8mm diameter. Uh, custom die sets can be made to swage other cable sizes. Uh, but it comes with a full set of dies for every cable size from 4mm up to 8mm and hexagon dies from 2mm up to 5mm. The YCP240C is a very straightforward tool. It's got an open face design so you can put cables straight into here. It's got a fast approach speed and a, a simple on off action. Literally just turn this little hand wheel here and pump and you can see how quick the dies go from fully open to fully closed. Um, it has an automatic cutout when it reaches full pressure of 12 tonnes. You'll hear it click out, like that. And then to release the pressure, you just simply turn the hand wheel backwards. I'm just going to demonstrate how to change the die sets in the tool. The head rotates to give you uh, ease of access, depending on the surface you're working on. Um, but you'll see that by rotating the head you can also gain access to the little set screws that hold the dies in here. All these screws do is retain the dies so they do not need to be tightened up too much. Literally finger tight is enough with the 2.5mm Allen key. You see how easy that was to undo and then the die comes out like so and then replace it back and literally just finger tight to just feel resistance don't over tighten it because you could cause yourself some problems okay uh, come down to ground level now just for um, ease of demonstrating the tool it can be used in the air but it's, it's easier to use a tool this size on a surface um, you can see now the heads rotated so that the handles nice and easy to use on this this type of flat surface here Okay, first of all, we're going to swage on this steel eye fixing. Um, it's basically swaged on using a hexagon die set. I'm just going to put my safety glasses on because of the cable um, can flick up and hit you in the face. Okay. So, first of all, we'll just check the depth of the fitting by inserting the cable. So you can see there's that amount of cable going to go inside this swage fitting. The tool's already set up with um, hexagon 4 dies. This is a 4mm 7.7 stainless cable. It's got about a ton braking load. And I'm just going to switch the dial to on. And then get the fitting of the dies. So, and then just pump until the tool cuts out, ensuring that the cables push firmly inside the fitting. Like that. That's a full 12 tons pressure on the head. Just release the dies. And then move the fitting along to sway the other portion. Um, it's not worth trying to make these hexagon impressions join up perfectly. There will be a slight raised section in between. It does not affect the strength of the fitting at all, uh, but it's good practice to just leave that section. So that's the fitting fully swaged. You can see there. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put a ferrule secured thimble eye on the other end of this uh, section of cable. Uh, this is our little SCC60 cutter which can cut up to 7mm 7 stranded cables and 4mm uh, 1x19 strand. Um, it's catalogue code 103 000 007. This is a code 4.5 copper ferrule going on to the 4mm uh, cable. 
what I'm going to do is just throw a soft die into it. That's the dead end coming out of there. Um, before swaging, you want approximately one cable diameter sticking out. The, cable, the ferrule will then flow over that um, to leave you with about half a cable diameter of dead tail showing. Uh, this is the live section of the cable. So one of the benefits of the tool is that you can trap the ferrule in the dies and uh, then you can actually fully utilise uh, both hands to move the cable exactly how you want it. Now I'm going to put this thimble eye in, so I'm going to put that in there. Now you can see the ferrule's trapped in the eye. And I just pull that in like so. Work the cable so there's about a rope diameter underneath the ferrule. Pull that in. So this is it before swaging. Now what you don't want to do is trap the thimble with the ferrule. So it's better to have the thimble slightly loose than it is to actually compress it with the ferrule. So they're both trapped together. That puts a lot of unnecessary strain on the thimble. So here we're ready to swage. I'm just going to swage this. So I'm going to do this in two bites. With larger ferrules, it might even be necessary to use three bites on the tool. Okay, so that's the 12 tons reached. I'm just going to release that. And then move this along to sway to the last portion of it. Now these ferrules are guaranteed to give you at least 90% of the minimum breaking load of the cable. But in all honesty, we would expect to see a minimum of 100% in service. Um, they're that effective a termination. And we'll do a little test in a minute to demonstrate how strong they are. Okay. So that's the termination completed. There's some flashing on here. Now you can file that off. Don't press it back in. It's really bad practice to do that. Uh, all that does is raise stress on the barrel. Okay, this uh, completes our demonstration of the YCP240C hydraulic swaging tool. I uh, hope that's been a benefit to you uh, if you're interested in purchasing this tool. Uh, if you have any technical questions, feel free to contact us on our email address sales at or other contact details are available on the website.